Saturday. So with that being said, What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the subbing in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know What's an off day? Now we on road. Came from. Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. If you haven't, bro, man, make sure you go ahead, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button right now, and turn those post notifications on. That way you can be notified whenever I upload a video. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, this is actually a video that has been highly requested. And honestly, not even like as far as requesting it for a video, just requesting it in general. Like everybody asks me constantly, bro, how do you get sponsored how do you get a sponsorship how can I get a sponsorship what is it that you're doing that I need to be doing so that I can get sponsorships like you do J.I. well basically in today's video man just go ahead grab yourself something to drink something to snack on because today's video is going to change everything for you from this point on um, as far as you know what I'm saying business aspect goes bro so Basically, I'm going to run you guys through the process of what I do whenever I'm reaching out to a company to sponsor me. Um, it's quite simple, honestly, so let's just get straight into it. But before we get into it, man, please, 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 if you guys haven't already, man, make sure you go tap into the official underscore BYL dot shop on Instagram. The summer drop is going live next week. Um, I got word from my person who makes the clothes for me. They told me that the clothes are going to be done either Friday, which is tomorrow, or Saturday. So with that being said... and a little track hawk trying to get a little you feel me don't do it don't do it like we can we, we can go there I'm, I'm with all of that I'm with all of that hold on y'all I can't show y'all because the camera is already fixed uh yeah I'm with all of that I'm with all of that though you feel me I'm with all of that yeah yeah little Eris and a little little track hawk right here they was trying to get the business. I ain't even gonna cap to you. They re they really pulled it out, the kid. But anyway, y'all. Um, back to what we were talking about before I was rudely interrupted by these SUVs. <laughs> so basically, how I go about getting my sponsorships and whatnot is very very simple, bro. Um, all you have to do is these simple things, bro. A, you feel me, do not DM a major company if you're trying to work with them. Now, DMing, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying, sliding up on the DMs on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever whatever the case may be. You can come as professional as possible in that DM. You can put all, like, every single thing that they're looking for in that DM, but I guarantee you, nine times out of ten, they're not gonna see that DM ever. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. It's 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 just if you think about it, this is a major corporation, right? This is a major company. Who do you think is really sitting there going through those thousands of DMs every single day? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's what I mean by your DM is not going to be seen. I'm not saying it as an asshole or I'm not saying it just to be, you know what I'm saying, cocky. Like, oh, yeah, my DMs get seen. No, bro, they don't because I don't send them. Why? Because I know that it's literally pointless. You are wasting your time by sending a big company a DM if you want some kind of partnership with them because they are not finna sit there and look at their DMs. Nine times out of 10, these companies don't even check their DMs, ever. <laughs> so with that being said, man, you always want to email the company. Try to find the email address. If you cannot locate the email address, find the phone number, give them a call. It could be the customer service line, it doesn't matter. They can definitely transfer you into uh, whoever it is that can actually help you as far as setting up the partnership or pitching yourself for the partnership. Now, that's gonna be the second thing. When you're reaching out to these companies, man, at the end of the day, you know the company. You know what the company has brought to the table. You know what the company can do for you. But the company does not know you nor what you can do for them. So, in the email that you're sending, bro, ma'am, it doesn't matter. You got to sell yourself. I'm talking about to the T. Explain to them everything that you can do to help that company grow. Every single thing that you bring to the table, you need to put in that email. All of your accolades, your all of your social media platforms, how many followers you have, how many times a week you upload, all of that. You need to put in everything. Do not miss anything. Don't forget anything because if you do, I'm sorry, y'all. Video, video getting mad dark out here, ain't it? Let me let me fix that for y'all. My bad. My bad, y'all. My bad, gang. Why y'all ain't why y'all ain't say nothing, man? Why y'all ain't drop it in the comment section down below? The video too dark. You can't see me, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I gotta do better, bro. In the email, bro, you got to sell yourself. That is the biggest thing, bro. Because like I said, the company does not know you. So you gotta think about it from the company's point of view. They've sat there and put in the countless hours, the countless amount of work, the countless dedication to getting this product to be what it is today. Why would they sit here and just give it to you for free? Why would they sit here and send it out to you for free? Why? You know what I'm saying? So you have to sell yourself. You have to explain to them, hey, I can do X, Y, and Z. And that'll take your company to the next level. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and recap real quick. Number one, do not DM. Number two, sell yourself. Number three, now this is just like a word of advice. Um, honestly, sorry, uh, the tent kind of throws off the camera. Yeah, the tent kind of throws off the camera. So like it'll get dark as heck and then bright as heck out of nowhere so i'm sorry about that y'all but anyway like i was saying the third thing and this is kind of more of a tip than something that you know what i'm saying you gotta do but um it's just i've done it in the past and it's helped me so i'm gonna let you guys know you guys can try it see if it'll help you in your situation but do not look at the smaller you know promo codes the smaller discounts as disrespectful you feel me don't look at those smaller discounts as the company you know what i'm saying Sent, working with you but not trying to say like not wanting to work with you but they didn't want to tell you no don't look at it like that no look at it as the company's taking a gamble on you obviously you have something that caught their eye but they want to see if what they see in you, their customers are going to see in you. The future customers will see in you. That's that's where, you know what I'm saying, that's where their mind is, their, th their thought process is with giving you a smaller discount code. Basically, they're saying, okay, let's go ahead and put this guy to the test. Let's see if 
we actually work with him is he gonna actually bring what he's claiming he can bring to the table to the table are we gonna actually see positive results are we gonna actually see money because at the end of the day that's what this entire thing is about it's about bread for both parties you saving money because they're sending you out their product and then making money because they're sending you out their product you see what I'm saying so you got to remember all of those things bro because all of those things play a role in making the decision on whether or not they want to sponsor you, bro. So with that being said, if they hit you with a 5% discount, take that joint. If they hit you with a 10% discount, take that joint. Because at the end of the day, your foot is in the door. And that's the biggest thing with these big companies is getting your foot in the door. Once the door is open, bro, you're straight. They know you now. Somebody from that camp knows you and acknowledges who you are. See what I'm saying? So it can only get better. It can't get no worse. Now, if they say no, then they say no. That's another thing that you guys got to do. It leads me to my next topic, bro. You guys have to be able to accept the simple fact that the worst thing this company can do to you is say no a lot of us don't shoot our shot because we're scared of failure a lot of us don't shoot our shot because we're scared to miss you cannot be afraid of failure because it's a part of success you have to fail before you succeed you cannot just come in the game and straight win. It can't be straight dubs because if it was straight dubs, then there would be no lessons to learn. There'd be no way to get better. See what I'm saying? You take an L, which is a lesson. You take a loss, which is a lesson to teach you how to get that dub. At the end of the day, the loss is just preparation for the victory. See what I'm saying? So you got to be able to tell yourself, okay, the worst thing they can do is tell me no. And I'm okay with that. Once you can, bro, I'm telling you, once you can become okay, at peace, at ease with knowing the fact that they could tell you no, it's going to be smooth sailing. Why? Because you're going to shoot 100% of your shots, man. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That is the biggest thing that you guys should take away from this video. Second to not DMing these companies. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So if you're sitting here and you're wanting to get sponsored by a company, but you've been sitting here because you're scared to reach out to them and hear them tell you no, then bro, you're not gonna go far. You're not gonna make it in this industry. You're not gonna be getting sponsorships. And at the end of the day, these big YouTubers, they thrive off of sponsorships, man. YouTube is one form of income. Being sponsored, that's a whole nother form of income. Having multiple streams of revenue coming in, that's how you get rich. That's how you stay rich. See what I'm saying? You can, I mean, you could, get rich off of one source of income but I don't know if you're gonna be able to stay rich off that single source of income you name in the comments down below right now name a multi-millionaire that got rich and stayed rich off of only one business I'll wait I'll wait the richest man in the world right now has multiple investments and is on track multiple sources of income and it's on track to be the world's first trillionaire. Why? Because he has more, multiple sources of income. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you, I'm gonna keep it a bean. He has multiple sources of income, that's why he's about to be a trillionaire, because the money doesn't stop coming in. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man. So with all that being said, y'all, I really hope that, you know what I'm saying, the information that I just gave y'all, A, helps y'all get sponsored, B, 
helps y'all obtain the sponsorship that you've been wanting and see I really just hope that this video was some somewhat informative to you guys man if not all of y'all at least one of y'all you know what I'm saying I hope that you guys take some of this invite advice and you know use it in your day-to-day -day life use it in your business and and you know grow from it man I really do hope you know what I mean so I hope you guys learn from this if you could do your boy a favor, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up, man. And drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if any of these things helped you out. Also, let me know what you guys are doing when you're reaching out to a company to get sponsored. Who knows? Maybe some of your tips could help me out just like my tips help you guys out. I'm just trying to make sure that you guys understand that the JI Squad is a community. It's a family. We help each other out. Every single one of your, you know, informative comments, not only does it help me out because I'm making the video, it also helps your fellow JI Squad members out because they can read your comment plus what I'm saying in the video, put two and two together, and maybe, you know what I'm saying, it'll help their situation. But without further ado, man, let's gonna wrap it up for this one, man. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.